The other kind of interesting thing to look at is the kind of archival use case. Mm -hmm. And this is whereby we may wish to say, you know, archive some cases. And you think you touched on this for this earlier on. I have another kind of pretty cool big object whereby we, we want to take a, a set of cases and move them into the archive big object. So I define just case and ca uh, case number and subject. But you could have any number of case fields here. Absolutely. And I just just for simplicity, just for readability, yep. we just kind of took this. And what we're going to do here is we're again going to do a um, uh, uh, a um, an async query to actually run that again. So what the async query is going to do in this case, it's actually going to archive these records directly for us. So we'll go back to here. And this query is a little different because it's going, you know, get me all the case numbers and the subjects where the case is closed and shove those records into the archive big object here. And if I kick this off, if the, and I'm most known I'm doing a post here as well. This should hopefully work now. Um, uh, it wouldn't be a real demo if I didn't do that. So yeah, what we're going yeah, to do is refresh. try that again. And let's do this again. I think we can do this again, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to work this time. I totally. think so too. And there we go. Off it goes. Right. Nice. So what's happening now is we're actually copying those records from the case object directly into uh, this new archive. So this operation. this response means that that query has started. Yes. So I can take this ID here and go, boom, you know, let's go get that specific ID here, and it'll tell me how things are progressing. And of course, I'm having some issues here. Let's try that again, because I didn't do this right. There we I go. I think it was a slash on the end. Of the I think, yes, I think maybe I had a, a typo in there. So there, you can know this is running, and we know what, what is actually running here. Right. So this is cool. So I know this is running and it's going to run for a couple of minutes here. But again, I ran this a little bit earlier on. So we can actually look at this archive big object. Let's run a query on it to actually to understand what's going on here. So I have it right down the bottom here. So I actually can run you know, a query against it here. Just say, let's get pull out the fast you know, 10 records of what that might look like. And there we go. You know, so these All records right. are available here. But you also ultimately can, you know, you can map them into, uh, well, we'll get to that piece of the example as, as well. So you can see, you know, these records are immediately available to you in, in a typical big object. 